All right, now that we know this idea of uh, identifying situations, we're going to have to write this down in statements. This is called proofs. We're going to prove what we know with evidence. Um, so I always want to start with things that they give us. So you're going to make a statement because. This is true because. So we know that GH is congruent to JK because they told me so and we just say given um, GH they have a tick mark they also write it up here we also know that HJ is congruent to KG because uh, they told me so it's got tick marks on it given now, we know two things are the same. We've got to find a third thing that's the same. Remember the three things? SSS, SAS, ASA, SAA. All right, so i got two sides. I better find a third side. Whoa, that uh, GJ, JG, it's the same segment, and it's in both triangles. So, it's got to be the same, right? So, GJ is congruent to JG. And yes, that they are going backwards. The letter is going backwards because it runs GJ from little corner to big corner in one triangle and J to G, little corner to big corner, in the other triangle because uh, the same line. Now you're going to learn that that's called the reflexive property. But we're good. Um, so we've got three parts the same. So I put a tick mark on there. I can't because it's in a drawing. Um, so we know, oh, so therefore, um, triangle GHJ is congruent to triangle JKG because side, side, side. That's a proof. Let's try another one. Oh, here we're told E is a midpoint. So prove the two triangles, proof triangle AEB. There's a bunch of triangles here. So know which ones you're talking about. Triangle AEB is congruent to DEC. We're also told we have parallel lines, so we could use that. We've got um, things crossing here, which are vertical lines, which we could use. So lots of different things to deal with. Um, so start with something. Um, AB is congruent to uh, DC because it's given. It's got tick marks on it. All right. Let's blow that up a little bit. Um, that angle E is the same. Let's just look what the drawing. Here's what the drawing tells us. Angle E. Angle, it's actually AEB. AEB is congruent to angle AEB DEC because vertical angles. So we put a tick mark here and here. Now, if I can get another angle the same, that would be a side angle angle. Awesome. Parallel lines. We got parallel lines. AB is parallel to CD because it's given. They told me so. Now you got to say that you have parallel lines before you try and use those parallel lines. It's got to be written in your proof. Um, well, that gives us a parallel and a transversal. Actually, we've got two transversals. One going one going the other way. So it kind of you know, tells us multiple things. So that tells us ABE, angle. ABE is congruent to um, AEB is congruent to DCE angle not angel angle DCE because alternate interior angles but remember we had to say that we had parallels before we could use alternate interior angles so we've got an angle, we've got an angle, and we've got a side. Oh, therefore the triangles are the same. 
So, triangle, whatever they want to call it. So, um, AEB. AEB is congruent to triangle DEC. DEC because, what did we say? Angle, angle, side, side, angle, angle. Side, angle, angle. Here's a proof. We look for vertical angles, used them. We look for alternate interior angles. Um, look for things they gave us in the drawing. Um, we'd also look look for reflexive, um, so sharing a common side like this. We'll get to this one next video.